Don't forget to check out my vlogging channel if you want to see what me, my fiance, and my cats get up to, or how I ended up with 22 pounds of makeup from Sephora. Hey guys, it's Wenji. Today I have a look that's perfect for those days when your hair color is growing out and your roots are just oily AF. But hold up, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, join the family and click the button down below or on the screen and you'll receive notifications of my videos. Let's get this video to 20,000 thumbs up. You guys are the best. Now let's jump straight into the look. Of course, primer is a must when it's hot. This will make sure your summer pores are smooth and covered and not grabbing your attention away from your beautiful makeup. I'm going in with a full coverage matte foundation, but using a flat foundation brush to buff it out so it's a super thin layer. This will give you great coverage, but also ensure that it feels lightweight as well. Concealer is the super cover lighter. You can literally draw on high cheekbones, forehead, nose bridge, and chin to make your face pop and look more voluminous. In the right areas, of course. And just blend it out with your foundation brush. Now we're going to create an arch following our natural eyebrow shape. A tip is to brush your brow hairs up to find your arch. And I'm using this brow pencil to line the top and bottom lines of my brows to clean them up and then filling them in darker towards the ends. Then use a concealer and a flat brush to clean up the outlines for brows that are super on fleek. Brush your brows with a brow mascara to fix your hairs neatly in place or to tint it to your favorite color. I use this method to lighten my brows. Apply a matte base color all over your lids which is one shade lighter than your skin tone. Now take a fluffy brush and use the cool contour as your transition shade along your crease, blending out above and extending out in a slight wing. We're literally just using one contour palette for our eyes and our face for this look. I'm excited to show you guys. Take a warm contour shade and apply it in the crease, blending it out with our transition color. Finally, take the darkest contour shade and apply it to the outer V. Apply the highlight color on the lids and brow bone and blend, blend, blend. Now apply the cool contour color along the outer half of your lower lash line to define this area. And you'll have a very sexy but subtle contoured lid. Using a liquid pen liner, draw a winged line. I'm extending this out quite a bit in a less steep angle and this really helps avoid my crease in my hooded lids. I find looking down really helps as well when applying winged liner. It looks so good when I look down, it's like I can stab someone with it. It is so sharp. I don't know why but it makes me so happy to see that. Curl your lashes and finish up this look by using this beautiful pair of lashes by Tiny Minx. They're from the new Basics range which will be launching in about a month. I find that lashes just really finish off a wing liner look but feel free to use mascara as well instead. Now, I love lower lashes, but sometimes they're a hassle to wear. So using a super thin brown liner, draw on your own lashes. I'm then going in with a black eyeliner and defining the lash look. This creates a very convincing lower lash look, especially from an arm's length. Even my fiance Max thought they were like my real lashes. And blending this in with a dark contour shade. You guys gotta try it. Suck in your cheeks and contour underneath your cheekbones with a warm toned contour. Take the cool toned contour and then just shade in the edges of your face blending forward to slim it down. This includes your cheeks, forehead and underneath your jawline. This will create a smaller and chiseled face. It looks amazing. Now take a bronzer, apply it to the apples of your cheeks, blending up to your temple for a lovely bronze glow, which is perfect for summer. Now contour your nose with the cool toned contour and a blending brush starting from the corner of your brows down the bridge. I also contour underneath my nostrils to shorten the look of my nose and then across the bridge above the tip for a button nose effect. Blend lightly with your fingertips to reduce the harshness of these lines. Take the highlight color and apply this to your cheekbones, cupid's bow, forehead, 
nose bridge and chin to set your concealer and finish off the complete contoured look. Using a pinky nude lip liner, I'm overdrawing my top cupid's bow and bottom lips because I feel like a bigger pout today just for fun. Normally I create a flat cupid's bow when I do this but this time I decided to redraw above my own. The lip liner also helps the lip color stay in within the lines and not bleed outside that. I absolutely love this liquid lip color. It's slightly darker than my usual nudes so it really defines my lip area and adds just enough contrast to my skin color and it kind of gives us this really cool like sexy mature vibe I really love this color so this is the finished makeup look so I'm gonna start off this look by re-splitting my hair in the middle and by brushing your hair with a natural bristle brush and I've got a ball bristle brush you can redistribute oil from the roots to the ends of your hair and this moisturizes and adds a little bit of shine to your drier ends also puts your hair oil into some good use after this, you can get rid of the excess oil by spraying a dry shampoo into the roots. And now I'm going to go in and straighten my hair so that it looks neater overall. This is so much quicker than curling it and it still gives you a very styled kind of look. Plus for saving some time, you can actually make regrowth less noticeable by lifting up your hair near the split with your fingers and adding volume there. Or you can part it off to the side so you can see how much less noticeable my regrowth is now just by doing that. Now pull your hair behind your ears, leaving a bit of fringe to the sides to frame your face and I find that this slims it down a lot and gives me a very flattering look. Finish off this look with a baseball cap to hide the gross, oily roots and regrowth. I paired this look with a cropped black hoodie with a statement white print on the front. Also, I thought these high-waisted vintage wash jeans look amazing with this outfit and it added a little bit of a casual vibe to it. I then accessorized with a choker and high top sneakers in a statement metal color and I chose gold because gold is my fave. Please thumb this video up if you love this look and tag me if you try it out. I reckon you guys look amazing in this. It makes me feel like I can skate like that guy behind me, but uh, no chance. I am so unco. I love you guys so, 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 so much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!